Well, students and parents filled one high school auditorium last night for a lecture on the dangers of vaping, electronic cigarette use, and prescription drug abuse. Robert Sir has the story. With most colleges idle this week for spring break, University of North Dakota Professor of the Year Frank White used his off time to teach a different type of class, a class that could change the path of someone currently on or thinking about electronic cigarette use. We're seeing people uh, as young as eight years old, you know, with the... Uh, uh, potential addiction problems. White spoke to over 100 parents, students, and educators at Legacy High School Tuesday night about the dangers and risks associated with vaping, which is currently being utilized by around 20 percent of high school students across the country. White tells me he's even having trouble keeping up with the changing technology. There's something new every week, uh, but certainly over the last couple of months, it's been vaping. Uh, but really close to that too has been the uh, prescription drug abuse opiate, that new fentanyl, those painkillers, uh, the synthetic painkillers, and the synthetic uh, drugs that can be vaped. Parents I spoke with tell me they're shocked at how the typical e-cigarette can look like an everyday item, such as a USB drive. I did not have any idea how easy it was to hide and how hard it is for teachers and parents to find. That's what's scary about it. I also spoke with Robert Bean, a father who recently caught his son, a seventh grader, trying a vape. It's just a uh a little mind-boggling that kids are trying this at this age and experimenting and how easy it is to get it and to look it up and not not knowing the consequences of what they're doing. Beam's son Brady tells me he's vaped and thinks it was a big mistake. Yeah, I tell my friends, I'm like, I've tried it before. It's not what you think it is. It's bad for you. It's, I don't recommend it. He tells me peer pressure and wanting to fit in led him to try vaping. But after hearing White's speech, it's something he'll never try again. Robert Sir, KX News. Now, White says that he'll be talking to students in Wapaton in a few days before traveling to Alaska for some speeches there.